Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. <clears throat> well, hello there, my beautiful Pisces. I hope you are doing well today. Thank you for all the beautiful likes, the comments, the shares, the subscriptions, the donations to my channel. It is greatly appreciated and well-received more than you will ever know. So, Pisces, what I need for you to do is I need for you to give me all that fun, loving, exuberant, beautiful energy that you got. You can do that by clicking that like button. You can comment. You can share. Uh, you can subscribe. Uh, you can just do all those beautiful, lovely, magical things that you do to me so well here at Talia's Tarot. So, I'm going to slap down the holy water. Let's see? Ah. So good in the neighborhood, Pisces. Give me just a second here. So, you know what time it is, baby. Mm -hmm. Tarot is now in session. The most honorable judge, T.T. T. Dong, presiding. Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> you can all be seated. So, we're going to check in on the energy of the person you're dealing with. Whatever energy is going to be coming towards you. Maybe people those word of the cases. We're going to get it hit and quit it. Oh, yeah, y'all. What's been going on lately? Is everybody okay? Just wondering. Make sure if you want to get notified that you click that bell. Otherwise, you're not going to get notified. Oh, you won't. Mm -mm. And if you want me to be here, then you better get notified. Show! Oh, okay. Show! Wow, that came out in the pre-shuffle. This is nuts. <laughs> Show! Okay. All right. Okay, Pisces. All right. Down on the table, I've got the Three of Pentacles. I've got the Lover's Card. I've got the Ace of Wands. I've got the Five of Swords. Uh, the overall energy for the reading here is the Knight of Swords. So... Uh, something here, fa there's something here your person wants to do. Fast. Okay. Three of Pentacles. Okay. There's still a lot of work that needs to be done here. Okay. We've got the lover's card down here and on the table. Okay. Uh, seemingly, I feel like you hold a lot of love for this person. This person holds a lot of passion for you. <laughs> And, um, you're not offering them anything, and they're not offering you the truth. We've got the Ace of Wands. This is all about extending an olive branch, as well as, you know, passion, chemistry, okay? Something very dynamic here. Seems like there has been some growth here that has already happened. We've got five swords. <laughs> ah. Your person feels... Like they're being pulled apart here, all right? There's all kinds of commotion, anxiety, and this person is trying to shut down their brain. But it's not, they're not having a very good success. They're not being very successful at shutting down their brain. So, let's see what's going on in this person's brain. What's going on in this person's brain with the five swords? What's going on in this person's brain with these five swords? What's going on? Oh, there you are. That came out in the pre-shuffle too. That's you. You're going on and they can't stop thinking about you. Nope. They can't stop thinking about you. What's going on? What are they thinking about Pisces here? What are they thinking about Pisces? What are they thinking about Pisces here? What are they thinking about Pisces here? What are they thinking about Pisces, please? What's going on here? Okay. Okay. Well, there they are. Now we're going back to four swords here. Okay. They think that you're a little bit... Uh, like, you've been focusing 
on your meditation rituals. You've been focusing on yourself here. All right. And it's driving this person to five swords. So seemingly you're in four swords right now, which is a good energy. So you've kind of shut down the, the brain. Okay. And you're using your third eye right now at this time. Okay. So what's Pisces using their third eye for? What is Pisces using their third eye for? Oh yeah, there you are. You're all spiritual and shit right now. Look at you. You're all you're you're focused on your spirituality here. And it's driving this person insane in the membrane. <laughs> that song I won't I won't I promise I'm not gonna sing that song but yeah so you're just focused your third eye you're doing your meditation and you're getting spiritually enlightened this is literally what's coming off the energy it's good energy and it's pulp rip it, and when you're doing that what you're doing is like making this person nuts okay because they might think that you're doing all kinds of different stuff when in all actuality, you're you're just you're trying to raise your vibration here. You're trying to become more in tune with yourself, more in tune with nature. You're looking beautiful. It seems like you have uh you have a lot of I creative ideas here. All right. And you're nurturing yourself, which is what the Empress is supposed to do. You're supposed to nurture yourself. Use your intuition. Use your spirituality. Let that third eye open. Yeah, get clear. Yeah. Okay, so why is this driving Pisces person crazy? So why is this driving Pisces person crazy? Because they're feeling you. They're feeling you on a strong level. The more spiritually advanced you become, the more attractive you become. You don't even have to be around people physically. They can feel you spiritually here. Yeah, so this person's feeling you, and you're good looking. You're real hot. I mean, I would totally hook up, you know. <laughs> I wouldn't sit in five swords and wonder what you were doing. I'd try to get up on your, I'd get up on your level. I'd level up right there with you, Pisces. Mm -hmm. Man or woman, I'm not picky. <laughs> oh, the court, we hit all the Pisces. It was a joke. God, I can't ever just... Have, have a joke. So how much work needs to be done here for this person? This person's like, there's a lot of work. So what kind of work are they willing to put in? What kind of work are they willing to put in? Okay. Well, they're willing to communicate to you here. They want to send you a big old meteor here of communication. So what is this meteor here? What is this energy here? What is this energy here? This communication. Okay. So they're willing to they're willing to, to to keep to keep talking to you, to keep messaging you, to keep things going here, just to maintain the balance here. Okay, so this person's willing to put in the work. Okay, thank you, Lady Justice, for the gavel bang. You were a day late and a dollar short, but I still love you anyway, Judge. Okay, so they're willing to communicate, willing to put in the work. To keep the balance going smoothly here for the big build up here. Mm hmm. Okay. All right. I can appreciate that. So, why is this lover's card in Pisces person's energy, please? Why is this lover's card in Pisces person's energy, please? Why is this lover's card? We got Mr. Miracle Grow. Okay. What's Mr. Miracle Grow here with the lovers for? What's Mr. Miracle Grow here with the lovers? Mr. Miracle Grow. Okay. So. Okay. They're willing to put in the work. They're willing to show up. Okay. Are, is your person slow? Yeah. Usually the Knight of Pentacles is on a horse. Okay. A horse can move a lot faster than a bull. Okay. So your person... Is riding on a dumpy bull right now. Okay, so they're slowly willing to put in the work here. Okay, towards the connection, and that's good energy. But it's it's slow. 
So if you're expecting Don Juan to come in and sweep you off your feet, no. It ain't going to happen like that. It just ain't going to. This person is not Don Juan DeMarco. That is not going to happen. Your person is like more like dumb went to Juan de Charco. De Charco. Okay, whoever that is. I don't even know who that is. This is just like a, a generic version, okay? The off-brand version. The one that doesn't have the best flavor. <laughs> Sorry, I can't help it. Some of you are going to be good with it. Others of you are not. It is a general reading here. Okay. All right. So, Ace of Wands. Let's talk to the Ace of Wands. So what is the Ace of Wands here in Pisces person's energy? What is this Ace of Wands? What is the Ace of Wands? Okay. I'll tell you what the Ace of Wands is for this person. Okay. The Ace of Wands is the resolve to the Ten Cups, which is having a relationship. So this person here, it's seemingly... Like, they want to, I guess you guys have kind of dabbled a little bit, but you guys haven't gone all the way. And that's what I'm getting off this energy here. Okay, their Ace of Wands is their Ten Cups. You know what I mean. So, it's a phallic symbol, correct? Okay. How do men usually get into relationships? I'll tell you how. Okay, My friend described this to me the best. He's like, tell, <clears throat> if a dude is offering you the phallus, okay, that means he loves you. That's how guys do it. That's where they're, that's where they connect with love, okay? But obviously, because you're the empress, that's not how you connect. So do you see the conflict of interest here, okay? This person is not on your level. They're not. They're just not. Can they get there? Yeah. Eventually. Is it going to be a long, drawn-out thing? Yeah. Probably. Can they get there? Yeah. It's not going to happen overnight, though. Okay. So, you can take a chance. <clears throat> you can take the phallus. Okay. And just because I said that doesn't necessarily mean that's what it's going to be, okay? Because some people are just, that's, that's all they want. And if your person told you that's all they want and they don't want a relationship, then you best believe what they say, okay? So then don't get yourself in the Ace of Wands predicament thinking you're going to have Ten of Cups. This energy, though, is reading that way, okay? So if somebody told you they don't want a relationship and they just want the ace of wands, then take them at their 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 full card. They're showing you their all their cards. And you say, okay, well, that's not what I want. I'm the empress. I'm spiritual. I'm going to continue to enlighten myself, even though you're feeling a connection to me, okay? Which this person is feeling a strong connection here to you because it's the lovers. It's the two of cups. It's the ace of wands. I mean, it is, this person, this energy does feel strong towards you. So, <clears throat> with that being said, I'm going to close it down with the final messages. And then I'm going to pull one card for each sign and cozies. Sure. What do we got here? Yep. I feel like they want to have more conversations here with you. Okay. They want to show you their spots. Okay. This person's having a wake the truck up moment here. And, yep, there's lots of light going off on this person's end. So, Cozies, what's we got for the posses? And then I'm going to do one card for each sign. Sure. Okay, replace your self-doubt with self-confidence, my beautiful Pisces. Mm -hmm. Sure. All right, what else we got here? Okay, there's no need to sacrifice. You can have it all. So, we're going to grab Kitty Boom Booms. Meow, 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 meow. Jesse. Pisces dealing with Pisces. I'm going to just slide this over. There was nothing wrong with it, but I just don't ever know. How do you feel about Pisces, Pisces? Pisces. Okay, Pisces. Okay. 
Uh, you guys are not talking, and I feel like they don't want to make a decision. Cancer. Sure. Yep. Cancer is absolutely heartbroken right now. Uh, Scorpio, how do you feel about Pisces, please? Scorp. Scorpio, how do you feel about the Pisces? Scorpio, how do you feel about the Pisces? Okay, they're feeling rejected. Uh, Aries, sure. They feel like they messed up. Uh, Leo? Leo wants to get together and see you. Uh, Sagittarius. Sagittarius, you guys are not talking. Libra? Um, they're upset. Uh, Gemini? Um, they are confused. <laughs> Aquarius. Aquarius is very much guarded against you. Virgo. Virgo. This is over. Uh, Taurus. They done had a funeral for you. Uh, they feel like things have been balanced here. When I say they done had a funeral for you, I meant Virgo. And then balance uh, was three, uh, three of the three pentacles is Taurus. And happy Cappy. Sure. Cappy, Cappy. Cappy has left the building. So, this has been your reading. Thank you for joining me on another episode of As the Fish Swims. These are the tales of your fins. Tarot's adjourned.